And that time is now as you look at Don Nealon about to bring his West Virginia Mountaineers on the field. We talked about common denominators. Both teams have the same color code. The university's traditional colors, gold and blue. West Virginia will be in white. Notre Dame number one. West Virginia number three. Only the eighth time in the last 50 years. Two unbeaten, untied teams have met in a bowl game to decide the national championship. And it's the second time in three years that event has happened here in Tempe, Arizona. Here comes Lou Holtz and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, the winningest university in this football century. The 52-year-old Lou Holtz trying to add still another national title to the winningest football program in the country. Rockney, Leahy, Parsegian, Devine all won championships in their third year. This is Lou Holtz's third season in South Bend with the Irish of Notre Dame. Now unbeaten, untied Notre Dame against unbeaten, untied West Virginia. Hackett, a sophomore from Sarasota, gets it started. Virginia number 33 has it at the seven yard line and the young man from Jersey City New Jersey toppled across the 25 by Michael Smalls number 48 a linebacker West Virginia's offense reads this way Major Harris a sophomore A.B. Brown their top runner Craig Taylor the fullback Holtz thinks he's the best fullback Notre Dame's played this year Watch 88, Reggie Rembert, 4'3 speed. He's 6 feet, 7 inches tall. Calvin Phillips leads the team in receptions. 81, Keith Wynn, they don't go to that often. Five-year seniors in the offensive line. Rick Phillips, John Stroya, Kevin Koken, Bob Kovac, and Brian Smiter. From the 26-yard line. Harris on the roll. Going deep. And Keith Wynn, we told you they don't throw to the tight end that often. Wynn has 13 catches this year, and they go long to win a senior from Dayton, Ohio. Todd Light on the coverage. The Irish, one of the top defensive teams in the country. At the end, Flash Gordon inside, the biggest of the Notre Dame linemen, George Williams. He's around 280. Chris Zorich, the nose tackle, Jeff Ohm. Has uh, three interceptions, the tackle. Frank Stamps, watch him on the blitz. Second and ten. And a whistle from the officials. The most important game in his coaching life. It's Calvin Phillips in motion. And the give to A.B. Brown finds a hole. And darts out across the 30 to the 33. George Streeter, a senior from Chicago, came up to meet him. Third down and three. Here's the rest of the Notre Dame defensive alignment. Linebackers and the strength of the team here, Mike Stonebreaker, Wes Pritchett, those two men made uh, several All-America teams, top three. Smagala and Light are in the corners, Streeter and Terrell, the safety men. A veteran line supporting Major Harris as he looks for three in the first option of the day. And Notre Dame reads it well, and Harris has dropped short of the first down. 
Back to punt. Lance Carrion for West Virginia, averaging 41 a punt. And Ricky Waters, number 12, is the deep man for Notre Dame, returned two punts, four touchdowns. Oh, good kick all the way to the 16. Waters from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, has a crease and is out to the 35-yard line. Look at the Irish offensively. Tony Rice at quarterback. He, like Major Harris, likes to run the ball. Mark Green, Anthony Johnson, they'll share the running toil duties. Ricky Waters and Raghib Ismail, speedy wide receiver. And Derek Brown, a brilliant freshman, is the tight end. Up the middle, we go to Anthony Johnson, the big fullback. And he has two or three, and then he smothered. Uh, charge spearheaded by number 49, the leading tackler for the Mountaineers, Chris Herring. Andy Heck made several All-America teams. Mike Brennan moves from tackle to guard. Tim Ryan, a groin injury, not in there at guard. Helt, Gruenhard, and Brown, the offensive line. Second down and six. The option and the toss and trouble. Tony Brooks has bounced out of bounds for a loss. Fourth year, Jim Gray and Mike Fox join him on the defensive line for the Mountaineers. Ronaldo Turnbull has 12 sacks. Watch him in pass situations for Ron Ellis. Chris Herring, the leading tackler. Robert Pickett at the linebacking spots. We'll give you the deep four in a moment. Third down and seven. And Rice's first pass attempt. He breaks away from Parker. 45-50. And Rice is all the way forward. He's still on his feet and tripped up at the 32-yard line. 700 yards rushing led Notre Dame this year. Broke all the quarterback rushing records. He gives off this time to Mark Green. Willie Edwards. Alvoid Mays led the team in interceptions during the year with five. Lawrence Drumgoole for the injured Daryl Whitmore. Whitmore uh, broken fibula in the Syracuse game. Maybe the best defensive back won't play. And Bull Orlando, a tough tackler, number 22, moves from strong to free safety. Second and long, and not much there for Anthony Johnson. Johnson from South Bend, Indiana, still on his feet, and he and Orlando. Big third down inside the Mountaineer 30, and it's Rice on the option. No yardage there. In fact, coming up with the ball is 49 Herring. It is good. So Billy Hackett who made three field goals during the regular season, gets Notre Dame on the board first. 10-25 remaining in the opening quarter. A 45-yard field goal by Billy Hackett, who will now kick it off to Eugene Napoleon. It comes to Napoleon at the nine. Ooh, good special teams. The their own 35 and got down to the West Virginia 28. The Mountaineers taking the opening kickoff did not register a first down. This is Anthony Brown picking up about five to favor the offense or the defense. I think the defense initially for sure. Brown short yardage comes in biceps and he has four six eight speed. Major Harris gets away from Stonebreaker has a man open but can't hit Craig Taylor. So Lance Curran will punt it again. Ooh, high snap. And he just does get it away. A low spiral. Ricky Waters inside the 30. And struggles out to the 39 yard line. It's Clemson beating Oklahoma 13 to 6 in a defensive struggle in the Citrus Bowl. Here, 3 0 Notre Dame. They get inside to the fullback, Anthony Johnson. And he plows out for about nine yards. Second down and one. Tailback Tony Brooks spinning at the 50, and he has the first down. The option, and now Rice to throw, and has a man wide open. The tight end, Derrick Brown, to the 27-yard line. Effectively, and when the running game is going, look out. Leading 3-0, the Irish are on the move. Here's Green. Finally pulled down inside the 15. Another Notre Dame first down. Take advantage of the defense. Double tight end now is Frank Jacobs and Derek Brown book in the line. And the give goes straight ahead for short yardage. Second down seven for the first down. Ten plus for a touchdown. Seven. 
Rice keeps. Rice is to the three-yard line and close to a first down. Second and goal, Notre Dame. Waters. Ricky Waters, who is a tailback, but uh, was switched to flanker in the spring. It's Banks. No, Rice keeps. Is he in? No, it is Mark Shy of the goal line. Banks actually, had he been given the ball, would have had a touchdown. The fullback or Rice on a keeper. Johnson. Touchdown. Anthony Johnson, who scored five times this year. The junior from South Bend, Indiana, who was married just before Christmas. And that'll be one he'll be able to tell his bride about. Well, and I said we might not see more of Anthony Johnson today with that ankle. This is the kind of game that if you can hobble out there, you're going to play. And obviously, the kind of an ankle that must get better in a hurry because he's right back in to score the touchdown. So, four shots from the three-yard line and a bobble snap. And the Irish will not get the extra point. So 9 nothing. Notre Dame, an impressive 61-yard march for a touchdown in 10 plays. And it's Napoleon again returning the kickoff and getting out across the 25 to the 26-yard line. West Virginia rolling through its best season in 97 years. You see that third game, Maryland down 14-0 and then rallied to a 55-24 victory. Then Pittsburgh. The two losses, or the two wins, Virginia Tech, East Carolina, were their two lowest scoring games and interestingly both on grass surface. And it was Boston College, Penn State, Cincinnati games all over 50 points. Rutgers, a scare, the Meadowlands, and then they finished with that dramatic night at home in Morgantown against Syracuse. Don Nealon trailing 9 nothing early. 4.29 left in the opening quarter, and Major Harris to throw. Underneath, he goes for the tight end, Keith Wynn. And it's all Notre Dame thus far in the first quarter, 9-0. A.B. Brown is shy of the first down. It's 400 pounds up front. West Virginia looking for its first first down, and they don't get it. Stuffed. Oh, Bolkar filled the hole. Carrion had a busy first quarter, and he gets away. Another beautiful spiral that will clear Waters' head. He doesn't pick it up, and West Virginia downs it at the seven-yard line. Saying, let's take charge offensively in this game. Rice gives on the slant to the fullback Braxton Banks from here. And a whistle. And we may have had the uh, delay of game. Maybe a defensive player into the neutral zone. He's pointing to the defensive side of the line. False start on the defense, offense. And the offense. He can throw it. Don't worry about it. You'll see it later on. After the penalty, second and 12. Rice throws out to Waters, incomplete. Incomplete the call. That run of 31 yards, uh, well, that was a big one. It goes into the record book. We'll tell you why. He will draw a play to Green, and he's smothered out at the eight-yard line, and Notre Dame will have to punt for the first time. His goal line, Grantis Bell, number one, is at midfield. He scuffs it, but it takes a fine oh, roll. That was about a 20-yard roll to the 47 of West Virginia. In the eye. Now at midfield, that changes a lot of play calling. That's Calvin Phillips in motion. And the give to A.B. Brown. Tailback gets only to the 47. Coaches see other than the head man. That's Joe Moore, the offensive line coach, talking to his troops. Harris. Trying to wiggle free, gets out to the 50, a short gain of three. The defense of the Irish has been tough. That's the early story. Notre Dame, the nation's number one team coming in, leads 9-0 after the first 15 minutes. Major Harris, third and seven at midfield, trailing 9-0. We open the second quarter. Still no first downs, and Harris hit from behind. That ball up for grabs and incomplete. Rushing the passer. Ricky Waters is the deep man at the 10 as Carrion kicks again. Fair catch called for by Waters at the 
16 yard line. Talked about the importance of West Virginia getting off to a fast start. That simply has not happened. Let's credit the very quick Irish defense. Hey, hey we got to get something cracking here. From the 16, the pitch is to Mark Green. And the senior from Riverside, California is out near the 20 yard line. Second down and six. Tony Brooks. And Brooks, with that last effort as he crossed the 25, may have picked up the first down. It is a first down, Notre Dame. This time to the fullback, Braxton Banks. Second and eight. Rice with a toss. Brooks to the 31 yard line. Third down call for Rice. And the toss and a fumble. And Notre Dame recovers. So Banks not only keeps the ball in the Irish possession, but they get the first down. On the 38. Brooks. On second down, Mark Green. Big hole and first down the Irish. They lead 9-0 and they're piling up the yards on the ground. That's the way Lou Holtz likes it. A toss to Waters, the speedy wide receiver, a tailback, and they get him in the backfield for a loss of a yard. Rice second and 11. Mountaineers looking for a pass. Rice has the option. He throws long on the run. Ismail incomplete. No question that he made a hit. Boy, what an arm for Rice running against his body. Down the middle, complete to the tight end. And it's Derrick Brown all the way to the four-yard line. Nice pass, nice run. Well, threatening to make it more than 9 nothing. They got a touchdown, Rodney Culver. Dame scores again. Pete Graham, who bobbled the snap last time, is the holder. They try the extra point off angle, and Hole knocks it through. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Very impressively lead 16 to nothing. And you notice there's no end zone celebration here. Hope says he wants his players to look like they've been there before. This one is fairly short. Napoleon at his 15. Gets through the wedge and out across the 35 to the 37 yard line. There's Barry Alvarez. I tell you, his troops can take some credit for that. Some fine defense from Notre Dame. Here's Harris. Going deep downfield for Rembert, incomplete. Now that's why the pass was uh, not only short, but offline. The toss outside goes to Umber Johnson, and he is hit hard. Dead ball, personal foul, defense, automatic first down. Their college careers with a national championship. Harris drills the ball incomplete right through the midst of A.B. Brown. Again on the draw goes to Anthony Brown. Yeah, and Sipe was somebody he watched a lot. Third and long. Harris scrambling, throwing. And Craig Taylor has a first down at the 31-yard line. Trailing 16 to nothing. Eight minutes left, second quarter. Brown, a big hole, and a solid open field tackle by Stan Smagala. Second and three. Good second effort by Taylor. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage, and there goes some flags. You don't want head to be ball. the guy to head back. Personal foul, defense. Personal. Yes, it was. Win was hammering right there and certainly it shows on the scoreboard but here's the Mountaineers best chance from the 11 yard line trailing 16 nothing the toss to A.D. Brown and he's bounced out of bounds at the 10 yard line surprisingly 
The Mountaineers stay on the ground and their offensive line and say, hey, we're coming up inside. Harris. Get some help. Will they run it? Yes. And now he throws. Touchdown. And it was a legal pass. He threw it from the five yard line. Jamie Lamont, number 15, has the score. Now, wait a minute now. He threw it from the five. The line of scrimmage was the seven. That may not be a legal pass. Now, they're trying to ask the question now, but this is not the kind of situation where we get a review from up above. There goes the flag. Fourth down, in comes Charlie Bauman to try a field goal, and he knocks it straight through from 29. That's not what the Mountaineers wanted. They were looking for seven or eight. They have to settle for three, and it's still the Irish, 16 to three. Charlie Bauman kicks it off for West Virginia. Kicks to the side, but Ismail is there at the 14. Stays on his feet. Boy, for a little guy, he's got some leg strength carrying big men with him. 16 to 3, Notre Dame leads. Six minutes, nine seconds left. Third in the second quarter. Tony Rice rolling out to the 42 yard line where teammates, they're probably the most popular players on each of the squads. Inside handoff to Tony Brooks, and he's shy of the first down at the 46 by a long yard. Third and two from the 45. And they give to Culver the fresh number score the touchdown. He fumbled the ball, and who's got it? Second time today, the ball is on the ground, and it looks like Notre Dame has recovered again. Freshman Steve Grant, number four, forced the fumble. First down, Irish. Bryce hit, but does not go down until he picks up three. And some strong players on their side of the line as well. Fast moving first half, 345 remaining. And now Rice down the middle has a wide. Open. Number 22, Anthony Johnson fumbles, but was he down? He was down. The Irish on the move with a 16 to 3 lead. Rice again. Second down and nine. And a whistle, and that could Too be delay. Yep. So second down, a short 14. There's Rice. Rice. And well read on the corner. Well, no pressing here. On third and long, Rice. To Ismail for a touchdown. Threaded through several West Virginia hands to the rocket. And he shot into the end zone with a 29 yard score. And the Irish are really celebrating the new year. And Tony Rice, who had seen so many articles written and had so often been asked about his passing ability, has answered the critics today. Reggie Ho tries the point after. And the Irish lead 23 to 3, going 63 yards in eight plays. Tony Rice with a clothesline throw to the Rocket Ismail for the score. Napoleon. At the 13. And he returns just to the 30, and a flag is down. 143 remaining in the half. The penalty will push the Mountaineers even deeper back. I expect the Mountaineers to put the ball in the air now, and the Irish loosen their deep defense. Instead, it's a draw to Taylor, the fullback, and he just gets a few. Defensive backs. That means a lot of man to man coverage, and it's been very effective. Harris gets away from Stams, then throws to the 30 and a first down. Here, matched up with Todd Light. Speed on speed. Good protection. Now it breaks down. Now the throw and incomplete. It is intercepted or the ball hit the ground. Wes Pritchett says he 
caught the ball, but the official says, ah, uh -uh, the ball at the ground first. Kind of holding it tight to his shoulder. We'll keep an eye on him. There's a throw to the sidelines and an immediate hit. Not calling a timeout for some reason. Up the middle to the 40. At this point. Now the clock starts. Harris going deep for Bell. Incomplete. He was out of bounds anyway. And then, these guys can fly. And the NFL teams uh, can't boast of that kind of defensive speed. Harris with a flip to his tight end Keith Wynn and Wynn is dragged down at the 50 yard line goes out of bounds stops the clock 13 seconds see that uh, defense looking for the long ball now as they drift back three man rush and now stands on a delayed blitz Harris on the run throwing for Rembert they finally found Rembert at the 14 yard line and with four seconds left West Virginia at least in position to try a field goal. They want some points on the board, and this is this is a veteran team. They've been around a long time. They've got a lot of experience. They believe in themselves. 31-yard attempt by Bauman is right in the middle, and that's the end of the first half. A half in which Notre Dame showed its firepower, and the Irish flexed its muscles defensively, stopping the nation's number two scoring team West Virginia second only to Oklahoma State and allowing them just a pair of field goals 23 to 3 now 23 to 6 at the intermission all right and there's the word that uh, Major Harris what a tough break for the Mountaineers was injured not seriously enough to take him out of the game but is feeling some pain and is not 100 percent hurt in the first play of the game the Notre Dame Irish 23 the Mountaineers of West Virginia 6 will be back after these messages from your local station. Certainly have dominated in the first half. The statistics will bear that out and they have not needed the turnover which was the book big tool they used against Miami and SC. I'm sure that would be welcomed by all of West Virginia fans. There's the rocket Ismail. He had a touchdown reception in the first half, 29 yards. Short and kick. Bauman's kick is to the side, trying to keep it away from Ismail, and they just lateral it back to him. And he's out to the 33, and that's all. Two to Tony Rice, both running and especially throwing the football. Rice gives to Mark Green, and the senior on first down is out to the 38-yard line. Ismail and Eilers to the right. They hand off to Brooks, and he's met solidly at the line of scrimmage. The second half really sets the tempo for the next 30 minutes. So for West Virginia's defense, the challenge is there. Rice keeps, tosses the green, and on the option, the Irish have the first down at the 44-yard line. Get some confirmation of the injury of what it is and its seriousness no one has been able to locate that yet. Green finally tripped up. N Dale Jackson, second down. Between six and seven. Ooh, Rice. Good job of pulling the ball away from his fullback and, and stopping. Able to pick up a little bit of yardage there anyway. At tight end is on the left side. Two wide receivers to the right. He's liking uh, Derrick Brown. Oh, he's going to keep it this time. He cuts inside and he's nailed. Dale Jackson will punt it. Bell does not fair catch. And has a 11 12 yard return out across the 20 yard line. So West Virginia desperately in need of a score. And Major Harris apparently will be the quarterback when we return. The Irish 23, the Mountaineers 6. Welcome back, Major Harris. This is the first quarter, the third play of this game, and this apparently is where he injured the left shoulder. Watch. Hit, knocked down by Alm and Stams. He's driven down on that left shoulder, and you see him wince and reach for that shoulder right there. Just moments ago, you see them adjusting. He may have gotten a little help to block the pain in that shoulder in the locker room. 
And he comes out on the option, something we didn't see much of in that first half. And uh, got to take him carefully. You don't want to get him hurt, but at the same time, you've got to get points on the board. He throws complete. And a first down at the 40-yard line to tight end Keith Wynn. Which is their challenge. 10-22 left third quarter. Notre Dame has led throughout. Craig Taylor, the fullback. Met he is a character. He'll be drafted fairly high next uh, spring. Harris losing his footing, and there's the difference between grass and the artificial turf. And like the artificial turf. Third and eight from the Mountaineers, 42. Stands putting on the pressure. Harris throwing into coverage, and the interception by Pat Terrell. Tony Rice at the control. Wishbone. Rice keeps. Again, broke the initial hit from Mike Fox. Eight and a half to go. Third quarter. And Rice looking for Green. He's open, and he's got it at the 27-yard line. Bo Orlando caught up with a perfect throw by Rice. Hits the target, first and 10. 35-yard play. Now Tony Brooks swings to the outside and has about 10 yards to the 16-yard line. Probably going to be even tougher next year than they are this year. Only going to lose six starters from today's game. Double tight end, Frank Jacobs and Derek Brown. And it's the fullback, 22, Anthony Johnson. Oh, migrated to the Irish campus. Flag down before the snap. Well, it's understandable. Ball, start. Offense, still second down. Notre Dame fights on every day. It was destiny. Brooks zigzagging for maybe a yard. Somebody on Brown is 283. Third down 10. And Rice keeps, and he has to eat it as Chris Parker in all east. He's got a routine, a little magical touch with the fingers, and now his kick is good from 30 yards. Ho kicked four field goals in the opening season win against Michigan, has his first today. It's 26 to 6. Ackett approaches the ball. And here comes under Johnson. to A.B. Brown and then the toss to the wide open fullback Craig Taylor the ability to scramble get that extra piece of time second and three and again open is Taylor same play to the other side and Taylor bulls his way to the 50 to get back into this one we have five minutes left in the third quarter Harris keeps and then is caught from behind Chicago to make sure he met the requirements to get into Notre Dame that's where he wanted to go Harris drills that one over the head of the tight end win, and a flag is down. He may have roughing the passer on West Pritchett. And that's exactly what we're going to have. Two dead ball fouls contributed to the first drive that got three points for West Virginia. Pritchett saying, what did I do? <laughs> well, we'll take a peek Run and see what passer. Pritchett did. Defense, automatic first down. Ball is gone. Ooh, oh yes, man, that's oh a yes. Me, Virginia trailing by 20 points, 26 to six. A draw play. A.B. Brown swings to the outside, doesn't get much. A play that looked as if it would go much longer gets only four yards, and then this quick pop by Taylor it's out to the left. Rembert is with him. Harris just does get away. And then shows his speed and out of bounds at the 16 with a first down. Got to believe there's a lot of pain in that body right now. Looks to the end zone, has a man open, Grant for a touchdown. Grant is Bell. Flag is down. It may have been a dead ball foul that looked like it was thrown after the pat was after the pass was caught. He spiked the ball. Maybe that's what it is. 
So Harris finds Grandis Bell for the score. Have a dead ball. Personal foul. Touchdown set. Penalize on the kickoff. Well, the personal foul apparently for a hit after the touchdown, though, no, for the spike. We'll see uh, we'll against see. him. He wasn't. Uh, Bauman tries the extra point. And it's 26 to 13. Well, Major Harris returns and the Mountaineers applaud. Out for the outside kick. Nope, that's going all the way out. And Ismail won't have a chance. Let's see what we can do with the defense. Rice hands off to Green and he's hit in the backfield for a loss. Rice faking, then going down the middle to Brooks. Intercepted by Willie Edwards. Edwards at the 30. Edwards at the 26-yard line, and West Virginia on its feet. Was laying and waiting from the 26. First turnover for West Virginia, and Harris now. And he'll have to eat it. Half the Notre Dame team gets him at the 27-yard line. Phillips left. Rembert right. Harris looking for Phillips. He's covered well. Now he throws long for Bell. Oh, what a defensive play by Stan Smagala. Reaching in and knocking a touchdown away. Third has scored a touchdown in the third quarter. And now another chance except Harris has to eat it at the 42-yard line. George Williams and Frank Stams. ...by Edwards produces nothing, and, and now Carrion will try to drop it inside the 20. He hits oh, this one into the end zone. Trying to pooch it. Just... But then the defense of Notre Dame produces an equal result for the Irish fans and teammates. The toss to Mark Green. Runs into his own man. Blocker Frank Jacobs was the man who stopped Green. The pride they have in this team. On second down, it's Green again. Pursued, and you have the feeling after the interception that Lou Holtz isn't going to throw unless it's a very safe pass. Just spent a lot of time shining those helmets up and making them look right for a day like today. 15 minutes for the national championship, and number one Notre Dame leads 26 to 13. has the first down and more off to the 39-yard line. They're doing a good job of sealing off on the strong side on Parker. Now Rice back to throw. Has a man wide open. Out of bounds goes Ricky Waters inside the five-yard line. Waters 15 catches led the Irish during the regular season. First and goal. And a yard or two for Pat Eilers. You saw about winning in the fourth quarter. You look at the point production heavily oriented in the first half. That might provide some hope for West Virginia fans, but mostly they're concerned now. Get some points on the board yourself. Fullback Braxton Banks has stopped after about a half yard game. Waters to the right. He's the man who caught the 57 yard pass. The fake, the throw, the touchdown to Frank Jacobs who caught only one pass all year for Notre Dame. He's got one for a touchdown in the Fiesta Bowl. Lou Holtz, such a master when it comes to utilizing his players, rarely throws in that kind of situation. Very conservative when he gets inside the 20, and I'm sure that West Virginia, well aware of that, was thinking run. They did not get run. They got play action pass. You can see Rice's basketball talent displayed from that angle. That was like a perfect little jump shot. He passed in to Jacobs. Now they're going to go for the two-point play as their lead has been at 20 points. They want to at least uh, try to put some uh, added distance on the West Virginia Mountaineers. Rice keeps, and does he get in? Yes. He lurched forward and able to get the ball. That was the only thing that got in the end zone, but that's what counts. 
The two pointer is good. And it's now 34 13. So that makes up for that extra point that they lost after their first touchdown back in the opening quarter. I'm out. 21 point lead with that two point conversion. Now Eugene Napoleon. Adrian Jones and a seven yard pass from Rice to Waters. Watch out. Stams. Or he finds a way to come in on that backside. Has uh, really been a thorn in the side all day long. And they get him again. This time it's George Williams, 69. The 282 pound lineman. Well, they know that West Virginia has to pass. And once again, who cut off the opposite path. Send it backside. Drop play. And A.B. stays on his feet. She's a, one of the assistant trainers on this team. Carrion. This one not a perfect spiral. A low line drive. The Waters. Got away from Grant. And finally bumped out of bounds at Antonio Rice. He put some extra ribbon on that present for his mother's birthday. Mark Green. For 11 yards and a first down. All America led uh, the Irish to two national championships in the mid 40s. Brooks short yardage. In fact, he said. Fullback gets the call. Banks this time, and he's into West Virginia territory. He follows speed because the Irish have been lucky with their fast players today. Play action and Rice throwing incomplete to Brown. He won't drop many. Derrick Brown on offensive defense. The ability to stretch the defense offensively and to be there defensively. Bell is the deep man. Let's it go into the end zone. Jim Young of Army, Bowling Green. All those coaches from the Mid American Conference with bowl teams. Harris looking long for Phillips. Almost grabbed by Smagala. Smagala might have pulled down the intercept. Harris pulls it down this time and decides to tuck it away and run out of bounds. Hey. Harris dumps it off to Taylor, the fullback. And he's all the way out to the 50 yard line. That, hey, if we'd made that two point play at Notre Dame, we'd be number one. It's fallen on some deaf ears. He still thinks he's the best team in the country, and there's some support for that against Nebraska and Tom Osborne's Cornhuskers. Harris gunning it deep to Rembert and broken up by Todd Light. Post intercepted by Terrell. The throw to the sidelines and the catch is allowed. As I don't think anyone has really announced that yet, but he said if you want to say it on the air, go ahead and do it. Harris on the keeper, skipping out of one tackle and then down to the 37 yard line. It works out so that he can be back next year. Harris down the middle. Oh, right off the chest of Jamie Lamont. Whole rhythm as a quarterback. Amazing to me that he can be as effective as he's been. They take the option, and now it's Pritchett. And Williams throws no one there. That'll be a penalty. There was. Pitchful grounding on the quarterback. Lost it down. Eight minutes left. We'll talk to the winning coach after the game. This game is so much importance and uh, emotional tension for both of these men. Throw deep and no one there. Smagala the closest. Carrion kicks to Waters, who lets it bounce. But West Virginia can't get there. It'll Here's the Notre Dame perfect slate. Michigan, Michigan State, Purdue, three Big Ten teams, and Stanford, Pittsburgh, the big game Miami and South Bend 31-30, perhaps the game of the year. Air Force, Navy, Rice, Penn State, and then Southern California. 27 to 10 in Los Angeles, and the Trojans were number one at the time. Notre Dame, seven minutes and 42 seconds left, leading 34-13. Rodney Culver, the freshman. Oh boy, he's a little bullet, isn't he? Nine. Bellis, number eight, plays special teams, plays tailback, is the backup quarterback. 
and he's from Phoenix Arizona so this is a big moment for him he gets the call and straight ahead for the first down to the 34 yard line and this was the team that was supposed to be a year away from the national championship Culver called him little well it's six feet tall and 212 pounds Bellis on second down history to give the waters on the reverse and he is brought down just shy of the first down over four 17 left Ooh, very close the blocking was Pickett and he might have gotten a piece of it as that ball slices right into the Irish sidelines a lot a little bit make sure they love you as well a lot of love on that team and a lot of happiness on the other side of the line Arizona in his third year won the national championship this is Rico Tyler a big fullback rumbling down to the 37 yard line He's in his third year and we will talk to Lou Holtz at Greg Jones is the quarterback now this guy has got a major league arm but he hands off to Eugene Napoleon and with both sides using reserves it's Napoleon out of bounds at the Notre Dame 28 yard line oh, yeah, Phillips all graduating this year but during the season Don Nealon has alternated on every third down they'll go for it on fourth down fourth and about two and a half Jones rifles it to Tyler and Tyler has a first down at the 21 he's the most valuable player we may not need to vote too hard here today for our most valuable player that uh, seems quite apparent as Tyler up the middle inside the 20 household down in Atlanta Jones but his receiver Rembert falls down ball unsportsmanlike on the defense first down with the foul it's uh, down inside the 10 first and goal for West Virginia And through the hands of Grantis Bell, Tony Rice from Notre Dame, Sunkist will donate $2,500 to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Arizona in Rice's name. Congratulations to Notre Dame and their underclassman quarterback, Tony Rice. He threw for over 200 yards. He had some big runs. It was a battle of quarterbacks, and Rice uh, just saw, with, along with his teammates, the announcement, he is the most valuable player. Napoleon stopped well on something down there on the Notre Dame side of the field, and here comes Lou Holtz. Lou wants to know what's going on He's here. saying, take the guy out, or what? Well, let's not guess what he's saying. And now Lou Holtz is going to get a penalty. Yeah, he's got it. Chris Zorich, uh, we'd have no idea. Uh, they don't give you quite the information you get in the NFL as they protect the player's name on penalties. And he's just telling his players whatever it is. He is very it. upset. And he is an eye to eye coach. And believe me, he, he plays the game tight. Reverse to Rembert, who scored several times on that play and gets one here in the Fiesta Bowl. And the Irish, boy, they, their tempers are still up. 34 19 the score I wonder if some of those aren't taunting calls uh, that's what it sounded as if uh, they were saying of course the and glow I think of youth and victory ejected. I think someone's been tossed from the game I think that was the signal there his men clearly won by Notre Dame To Rembert, there's that 6 7 leaping power. Rembert, who gets all eight points on the touchdown. It's six on a reverse and two on the conversion. That makes it 34 21. Well. The onside kick. Did it go 10 yards? West Virginia recovered, but I, I don't, don't believe think it did. I think it was about nine and a half. What are they going to say here? It looked like it was short. And that's first down. Uh, Kent Graham, 17, is the new quarterback. He's a sophomore from Wheaton, Illinois. 
as we're down to the final minute and ten. And they run it into the center of the line with Bellis, the senior from here in Phoenix. That's the bull. She's a student at Arizona State and the daughter of Tom and Melva Hansen, the commissioner of the Pac-10 Conference, Tom Hansen. Sarah Hansen wins that honor. And uh, the Grand Marshal was Janet Evans, who won three gold medals in Seoul. And there it is, the final seconds tick away, and Notre Dame will duly celebrate a national championship. No doubt, the Irish are number one. It's not with hope and with all the heart that every fan has for their team that we're number one. No question, it's now reality for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and their fans, number one in the 1988 collegiate football season as they defeat West Virginia 34-21. Now to the Orange Bowl, Don Cricky and Bob Trumpy.